the year is 1981, MTV has just launched their newest television station, and of course, IBM has just launched its new personal computer, the IBM PC. And Microsoft has released its first operating system, MS-DOS. My name is Sergeant Snazzy, and this series will be covering on the history of Windows. Hey guys, what is up? Sergeant Snazzy is back once again with another fantastic video. Now, I know I haven't been uploading as much as I would like to, but you know, I've just kind of not been feeling it, I guess. So I wouldn't say I'd like to, I'd just say what you guys would like me to. Um, I've just been kind of just not feeling like uploading videos lately. Uh, I do hope to get back into my Halo Let's Play eventually. Uh, we'll think about it. Anyway, this is a, a bit of a more of an educational video for you guys. Um, basically, I'm going to be covering the history of the Windows operating systems from the last 30 years. So, of course, starts off with MS-DOS. Now, for those of you who don't know what MS-DOS is, MS-DOS was basically kind of the first Windows based, it wasn't even an, it wasn't really a, a, an operating system like you see now. It is what they call command line. Now, command line basically is um, where you just type in commands to do certain things. Now, if, if you were like me and went to college for more than a year, then um, you probably have used this in some kind of form if you were taking any kind of computer classes, like me. Now, honestly, I, I, honestly, I cannot do command line, at least not with Linux, that is. However, DOS, I'm a bit more fluent in, but I'm a bit rusty, though. But, um, so basically for this video, I'm going to try to show you, I'm going to try to give you the history of DOS, kind of demonstrate it for you guys, and just, you know, try to give you the, like, the origins of how Windows kind of came to be. I wouldn't even call it, it's not even Windows. It's, it's, this is not Windows. This is not Windows. This is MS-DOS. This is basically, when they came out with Windows, MS-DOS was required to run the older Windows operating systems. But now you don't need that anymore. You have the command line, which is essentially the same thing, but you cannot run older programs like DOS programs. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to just kind of like give you, uh, go over the uh, history of DOS um, from what I've learned and if I make any mistakes then please correct me. Uh, um, so uh, back in 1981 uh, Bill Gates and some other guy um, made well actually DOS was not originally made by Microsoft actually see um, a while back see IBM and Microsoft were kind of making they had MS DOS and then they had PC DOS which is kind of like the IBM variant of um, MS DOS. It's pretty much the same thing, but you know, it's just IBM. Um, but before, see, actually, there's another guy in Seattle at a, at a computer shop somewhere, I think, who created it, it called QDOS, and it stands for Quick and Dirty Operating System. And essentially, Bill Gates decides, like, hey, you know, listen, I will buy this off you, you know. Uh, so they bought it off him, and basically, um, they, you know, they made it MS-DOS. MS-DOS, for you who don't know, it stands for Microsoft Disk Operating System. Um, now, I, actually, the older versions of DOS, I believe, uh, did not have support for hard drives. So you had to leave the disk in your system to the floppy disk in your system to actually run the program. Um, so, I don't have a script, guys. So. <laughs> Please, please forgive me. I'm going to have, a, 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 hopefully next time, I will plan this a little better. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. I mean, DOS really hasn't evolved much. I mean, it went up all the way to version 8 back in 2000. And version 8 was, was bundled with Windows Millennium Edition, which, oh my god, was the worst. Well, besides Vista and 8 are probably one of the worst operating systems of all time. I think Millennium Edition is probably even worse than Vista. Uh, you will hopefully get to learn that later, um, but uh, I mean, MS DOS pretty much didn't change that much. I mean, graphically it was exactly the same. I mean, they had 
some minor improvements. They had the DOS shell, which added a graphical interface to the DOS, so it was a bit easier to navigate rather than typing out commands. But mostly, it was just the same, you know. It didn't really change that much. I mean, the only differences were hardware requirements and, uh, you know, the ability to use newer hardware and stuff like that. You know, the, the, the usual stuff that most OSs do these days. You know, there was no graphical changes. There was no, you know, some of the newer versions obviously you use more memory. You use, you know, better processors, better hard drives, you know, stuff like that. Basically... Kind of like Minecraft, it, it didn't really change much, essentially. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess without further ado, let's let's get right into the demonstration of DOS. Now, I'm going to be starting out with a with DOS 5. DOS 5 is one of, my, one of the more common DOS uh, versions, along with DOS 6.22 and DOS 7. Now, I haven't installed DOS 6 or DOS 7. I'm I'm actually going to do a showcase for DOS 7 because it's a little bit different. I think DOS actually DOS 7 is a bit different than DOS the earlier versions because I find it comes with a, a little bit something special. It comes with a boot up screen, you know, like like a like an actual operating system. I was I think it was a like a special Chinese version. I, f I forget what WinWorld calls it, um, but I'll, I'll do a showcase of just regular DOS 5. It has nothing installed on it right now. Like, it doesn't have any programs or any drivers. Just just basic standard DOS. It does have, like, you know, the, the default program, which, you know, like, you know, QBasic and, of course, the standard editor. But other than that, it has no programs, you know. Uh, I might do DOS 7 in a separate video. But anyway, guys, let's get right into the video. Let's check out Microsoft DOS. So. Let's check it out, guys. Okay, guys. So this, hang on, let me just get out of here real quick here. Uh, hang on, hang on. There we go. Okay, all right. So this, this is MS DOS in all of its glory. This is it right here. This is it. Uh, there's not really much to look at, really. Um, let's just go to directory real quick. This is your directory. This has all of your main files. Um, so I'm gonna do change directory. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. CD DOS directory. Let's see. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, so this is your basically your main directory. It has all your files, um, all your commands, basically. Um, so like, like you know, we just have a bunch of different commands here. We got keyboard.com. We've got, uh, you know, I should have, we have Quick Basic, which is a uh, programmer. I'll probably get to that later. Uh, help, you know, basically your basic help. DOS shell, um, just, you know, basic stuff right here. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can find the editor. Uh, now, there are no mouse drivers for this. This mouse right here, probably, if you can see it, it's just my regular mouse. Um, I, I tried to install mouse drivers and I was just I just didn't feel like doing it. It's just I just want to do this real quick and show you guys what the old days looked like and this is what the old days now this is actually from the this is not DOS one point this is like I said this is DOS five. It's pretty much the same thing. Um you know, uh it's just you know, it, I think it was just released in like 1991. I don't know. It was it was in the 90s, I believe, when it was released. Uh, and this is probably the most reliable DOS besides DOS 6.22. I mean, DOS 5 is very good. It's a very good, um, uh, you know, version to use. Very stable. So let's let's um, let's try let's try one of these. Uh, let's try Q Basic. Yeah, I gotta. Uh, God damn it. Sorry. Come on. There we go. Uh, what the heck? Gee, there, oh my god. Sorry. I uh, see it's covered the entire window, so I can't click on it to um, do it. So, Q. Basic. This is, um, this is your basic editor. So, <laughs> survival guy. So this is basically your basic editor. I don't think I can capture sound with this. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try here. Uh, sound 500. 
to um, let's see. Oh, I hope I want. I think I might have captured that. That fucking scared me. Let's try. Let's try it uh, for ten seconds. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's that's their basic sound right there. Um, gonna have to just quit. No. Oh, stinking mic. Sorry about this guy. My headset died, and I'm just trying to trying to just survive without it. There we go. That's a little better. All right. So, um, let's see. Uh, hmm. I'll get back to you in a second here, guys. So yeah, it's basically just um, I'm gonna go back to um, back to the main directory. So I got a CD slash oh, man CD. Uh, crap! I forget how to do this here. I think it's oh, fuck. Oh, CD. There we go. No, no. Um, frick! How do you do this here? Is it? Is it? Where's Yitter? Where's Yitter? Where's the other? Um. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Sorry. Okay. So the CD backslash? No, forward slash. Um. Brings you back to the main directory. So let's go to directory. Um. Yeah, that's basically just just what they have there. Um, pretty much. Um, when. Uh, let's see. So config. Uh, try. Let's try edit config. Edit config. So this is. It's fine. Um, don't see anything here now, huh? Um. Config is supposed to be. You're supposed to. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Edit auto exec. That's what it is. Auto exec. Um. Okay. Let's try auto exec. Not bad. Edit auto exec. Dot bat. There we go. All right. So, um, I'm going to turn DOS shell off. Actually. Um, there we go. All right, cool. And then we go to save. And now we're going to go to exit. And we're going to go to, um, we're going to go to send control alt delete to this machine. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, this is it. Um, I don't know what all this stuff is. An A20 hand. I don't really know what that means. Uh, so I have 64k high memory available. I do have 60 megabytes of RAM. Uh, using on this VM. Um, this is I just I guess this is 1991. Like I said, this is not. Like I said, I cannot. It's impossible to get. Um, DOS one to run on a modern system, but even with a VM, because DOS one was kind of, it was more OEM. You know, it was meant for a specific computer, and because of its age, it's just not really compatible with any VMs. It's just, I mean, like I said, DOS five and DOS one don't really have much in common. So you know, it's it's, you know, but uh, I think. I think that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, like I said, there's not much to see here with DOS 5. I mean, I guess the DOS 6 does have, sorry, DOS 7 does have some other features, but really isn't that much to see there. I mean, I don't have any, if I had more programs, I'd show you. Like, I, I can get Microsoft Word 5.5 for DOS. Um, I can get, I, I can't play Doom, but I can get Doom for it. Um, I'm not talking about the new Doom, I'm talking about the old Doom, you know, the good old Doom, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see you guys uh, next time on another episode of this new series 
I'm making. I might make an episode tomorrow of the DOS 7 and maybe even Windows 1.0. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and have a wonderful, fantastic day.